Welcome to the longest running weekly episodic television show in history, Monday Night Raw. What a night we have ahead of us, guys. And we are kicking off the show with a marquee matchup tonight. Well, I'd say this is anything but awesome. He's spoken like a true jealous Z-lister, Saxton. You're not even allowed on this side of the velvet rope. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds. The... The Messiah of the Backbreaker. Ready? Love him or hate him, the Miz has earned his place here in WWE. And found plenty of awesome fame and fortune along the way. That's true, and tonight he's eager to show everyone just how awesome he is inside the ring. And then you have Roderick Strong. A superstar who is a true hard worker and has developed a wealth of in-ring knowledge. There's no cutting corners when you're squaring up with a competitor of his caliber. I have to say you're right. Few guys can say they put in the same hours as Strong has promoting his craft. You don't become the messiah of the backbreaker overnight. Miz with awesome awareness. Really just laying it in. Strong avoids damage. Between the shoulders. When you look at this matchup, Corey, what is it going to take for Roderick Strong to walk away with the win? Strong needs to go deep into his playbook. He needs to pull out all the stops and maybe employ some of his most hard-hitting and innovative offense. Consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times. You better run, because I heard the Empress of Tomorrow doesn't like you. Oh, no. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. Introducing first, from Osaka, Japan, Self-proclaimed most beautiful woman 
in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I am making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. And from Staten Island, New York, Carmella! This is a woman who Breaking out on her own. Stepping out of the shadows, finding herself. I don't know if that's entirely safe for the WWE Universe, Cole. She's downright nuts. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. One of the things... Uh, a massive presence in the women's division. And... From Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. It's hard to name a faster ascent to the top of NXT. Just over a year after her debut, she became NXT Women's Come on! Woo! And here comes Natalia. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia carrying. Here comes the self proclaimed juvenile delinquent. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. W. here with Asuka, Carmella, and Nikki Cross. And standing in their way of victory, we see Raquel Gonzalez, Natalya, and Liv Morgan. We have to be expecting a frenetic pace in this matchup. These teams stop for nothing. They are all going from bell to bell. Sent into the corner. Gets the tag. Liv holds her off. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. She 
He's pushed into the corner. She's taking some big hits here. There's the bulldog. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Oh, cross avoids contact. Right in the bread basket. Coming in hot. Mella needs to rethink her strategy now. Oh, Mella counters. Carmella showing she's not out of it. That could be the 180 Carmella was looking for. Oscar gets tagged in. Opponent's down. Oh, this is not good. Cover up. Made famous by the Miz. Into the turnbuckle. In off the tag. Oh, man. The oh, reversal catches Gonzalez. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Fighting back with the counter. Hard to argue with another notch in the win column, especially one like that. For Bobby Lashley, business is always good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. Come on. What do the they think Almighty they're doing? Oh, come on, Bobby you know exactly what Lashley. They're doing. And it's brilliant. A truly astounding physical specimen. Middle and things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The referee issuing a warning here. I wanted to see this match. I hope the ref doesn't call it off. Well, I actually agree with you, Saxton. He reverses it. Bruising attack to the stomach. Lesnar moved. What a punch. The Almighty has certainly earned his moniker. At no point can you sleep on Lashley's power. Suffering attack from him is like being mad. Corey, what can we expect from Lashley? I expect the Almighty to drive his opponent through the mat with absolute power and enjoy it immensely. There's no reason why Lashley should alter his approach tonight. Caught with a punch. saw it was coming. Punch! Oh, what a right! 
Man, that's some attitude behind it. Oh, and a big uppercut. Got it scouted. Lesnar rolls him off. What a shot. Boom, what a punch. Oh, Lesnar from behind. Brock Lesnar, perhaps setting up for a trifecta of Germans here. And Corey, you know what this means. And all expenses paid. Looks like the referee is getting frustrated trying to get them to bring it to the ring. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Seth Rollins, who comes to the ring ready to extract his own personal brand. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. The following contest you saw that is much scheduled drip, for you call one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! So he's been... I think the fact that he anointed himself the Messiah really says it all. Yeah, Seth believes that he is the salvation of the WWE, that the WWE Universe should follow him blindly and hang on his every word. But while he calls himself the Messiah, others call him a megalomaniac. Oh, well, call him what you want. There's no denying that Rollins has asserted his dominance in and out of the ring. Anyone who doesn't convert to his cause gets punished. But then you have a competitor who needs no introduction. A world famous celebrity. And I'm sure Miz is desperate to convince everyone here tonight that he is the biggest star in all of WWE. Close line. What impact. Oh, Miz turns the tables. Just like that, Rollins dodges. the top flight talent like Seth Rollins with the key to finding victory. When it comes to Seth Rollins, I think you have to put the pressure on early and keep it on. Any chance you give Rollins in this match to regroup is an opportunity for him to turn the tables on you. A chance for him to enact one of his strategies. So once you start swinging, don't stop. in the corner now, leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Single underhook. Face buster. And that was not the kind of treatment for an A-lister getting knocked down a peg or two. Seth delivered some righteous punishment. Absolutely not. He saw that one coming. Vicious right for Both superstars showing great awareness of their own trumpet. Seth Rollins up the turnbuckle. 
tackles. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Just one step ahead. Stomping, ouch! Oh, that can shatter a jump. Rollins from up high. Incoming! This young man, one of the biggest in his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. <laughs> 